This beautiful woman named Connie. She's all tingly in the face of a lover 10 years younger than herself. She says no, but her body is honest. Returning to an uneventful marriage. Can no longer meet the sensual woman's hot. Connie herself has a happy family. Her husband Edward, who has been with her for 10 years, is the owner of a company. They have a smart and well-behaved son. The family was happy and uneventful when a tornado hit them completely. Connie's slim figure looked very thin in the wind. She was dazed and crashed into John's arms. To escape the wind, Connie follows John to his home. When Connie went to the bathroom to treat her wounds, John made warm coffee for her. John is a bookseller. He is also a woman's favorite sea king. While Connie was on the phone to her son, John saw the opportunity to offer Connie can not refuse the courtesy. By this time he was already deeply attracted to Connie. Connie's shyness is long overdue. She took the souvenir book John gave her and left. A few days later, Connie opened the book John had given her. Inside fell a card of John's. This gave Connie the urge to go fishing. Nervous and shy, she dialed John's number, saying very polite and uncomfortable words of thanks. John, who knows the female psyche well, invited Connie directly to his home. With trepidation and nervousness Connie showed up on time. This was their second meeting. They were both fascinated by each other's freshness and charm. John showed very professional hunting skills. Connie's restlessness is completely aroused. But after 10 years of marriage, she chooses to stick to her husband, family and children. But it's been a long time since Connie has experienced the passion of John's presence or into the contemplation. She even went back to her early teenage years. She couldn't resist the passion and excitement in her heart. She came to John's house again. The hormones fly. Their relationship takes on a new dimension. A sudden lull in the music shatters their burning desire. Connie seems to return to her senses. Because she felt that she had a family she should not do this. But her nervousness made her forget her coat. When she comes back again John goes straight for the jugular. Desperate for passion and extremely restless inside. Connie did not resist. On the way home Connie was filled with guilt. Because she had betrayed her husband. Betrayed her own happy family. But the satisfaction of passion and freshness all also made her to this young man she had only met a few times. She has an unspeakable sense of remorse but cannot control the fire inside her. Even if the rest of her life remains as happy and harmonious as ever, she had also become accustomed to a life with John. As time went on, Connie's heart seemed to find a balance between family and John. Their relationship became more and more unmanageable. But the excessive behavior is still a man can see clearly. Women who betray their marriages tend to behave in a more unusual way. Connie became more fond of dressing up and of pretty clothes as she had been in her youth. She even becomes oblivious to her husband's undiminished care. Even though her husband loved her with all his might, Connie lied and said that she had gone to the beauty salon with her girlfriends to look pretty. The husband, who was aware of this, secretly called the salon. There was no record of Connie's appointment. Connie walks down the street with her heart in her mouth, imagining and anticipating the excitement of seeing John. Unfortunately, she ran into two old friends. They had to go into the coffee shop together. She called to explain to John. A short time later John entered the cafe. The two of them look at each other in silent understanding. Then they went together to the cafe's bathroom. In love with a woman's brain is completely filled with hormones. Even at this time, Connie has completely ignored the family. She and John's fresh excitement instead became his inner justification. Because she provides the fresh excitement of John as a betrayal of the family betrayal of marriage bullshit love. The man who saw the scene of Connie and John's private meeting turned out to be a colleague of Connie's husband. He still told her husband what he saw. This made the husband, who was already suspicious, even more sure of his suspicions. After all, after more than 10 years of marriage he did not immediately angry but called a private detective. Connie became often careless with the family she had lost motivation for. She even cooked a fluffy steak until it was fried like a steel plate. To ease the pain of learning the truth, her husband chose to travel to escape. This allows Connie and John to become more reckless. They experienced all kinds of exciting occasions and ways. They even forget to pick up their son from school. But all of this was also recorded by the private detective. After the passion, Connie seems to understand that this false love is not worth the cost. Alone, she drank her guilt-ridden wine. At this time, the husband also received the detailed evidence collected by the private detective. But the husband became both painful and calm because as a man there are parents and children behind, and his own hard work to protect the home. Connie also became more and more torn and panic. The whole person seems to have lost his soul. Cannot concentrate on driving. Crashed the roadside signpost, but soon something happened that sobered her up. He saw John and another woman in the street making out and running around. 
Connie couldn't accept being abandoned by John and followed them to the library. She couldn't care less about her emotions. She started to get mad, but along with her anger, she went to John's house with him. Her reason tells her to leave this wretched man, but the shameless John used Connie's weakness to launch a fierce attack on her, and Connie complied with John's impudence. After finishing her business, Connie left John's house in a hurry. She passed by her husband. Then the husband came to John's house. Even after learning the truth the husband was still very calm. The two men who should have fought were ready to have a long talk. They even drank high whiskey together. The husband endured the heartbreaking pain and calmly communicated with John. I hope he can leave Connie and give them a normal happy family. When the conversation should have ended in embarrassment, the husband saw the gift he had given to Connie had appeared in John's place. He became extremely emotional. He took the crystal ball in his hand and smashed it directly at John. In two blows John instantly head bleeding and blood flowing. John was thus sent away. The husband became frightened. It was not his intention to kill John. While he was trying to dispose of John's body, his wife called John. He heard his wife's message clearly. This made him even more anxious to get rid of John's body. He wrapped John's body in a rug and carried it straight to his trunk, and then seized the time to attend the children's party sitting next to his wife. Such a loving couple hid their secrets from each other. In the middle of the night the husband drove alone to a large garbage dump. He dumped John's body in the dirty garbage. Then he left in a hurry. The process ended silently. They thought they could soon return to their happy lives. But it wasn't long before the police came to the door. Connie was uncharacteristically calm about the police inquiries, because she really did not know about the disappearance of John. The police left a business card and left. John's body attracted countless vultures that were about to completely decay, but the garbage collectors still found the blurred body. Soon the police came to the door again. Even so, because there was no conclusive evidence, the matter was left unresolved. I don't know how long it took. Connie found a picture of herself and John in her husband's coat pocket. He finally learned the truth about John's death. In the face of Connie's questioning husband also explained his guilt, but also showed his anger at Connie's betrayal. But in the end, for the sake of the family and the son, they chose to conceal the truth, and decided to leave this sad city to start a new life. In fact, the betrayal of either party in the marriage and family is not worth it. To give up the one you love most for the thrill of the moment, it seems to have the hot love but also lost the one who loves you the most. The person who was with you on your way to marriage was also the one who gave you the thrill. Give yourself the hormonal impulse, but with the passage of time is finally back to the life of the food, oil, salt and vinegar tea. Never forget the essence of life. All happiness comes from the perseverance and companionship of both sides. The roadside wildflowers are beautiful but must be accompanied by invisible thorns, in exchange for only a greater price and endless regret.